entitled How to Discharge Devotional Service. So it began, there were 10 items, first of all 10 items of things which we were to do, which were important to be done. And then there were 10 items of things which we should not do. And then there were 44, there are 44 general items of devotional service. So we're up to number 36. I thirty six. One should one should offer service to Vaishnavas, devotees. So to give service to the Vaishnavas, that is uh, encouraged. You want to it says by serving the devotees it opens the doors to liberation. So give, by serving the devotees who are free from sin, it said, we serve the devotees who are free from sin, then great service is done. At, by such service, we get a taste for hearing the message of Srimad Bhagavatam. So we do want to try to take advantage to serve the devotees. Hmm. Okay, so then uh, how to serve a devotee? Well, you can do things like uh, wash their clothes, <laughs> clean their room, cook for them, or uh, just be nice to them, just uh, have some friendly words with them. In Kali Yuga, people are not very friendly to each other. In Kali Yuga, people are not very friendly to each other. So we do, we do want to try to become the servant of the devotees. By serving the devotees, then we become more qualified to serve Krishna. If we, if we can develop uh, uh, some ability in pleasing the devotees and serving the devotees, then it qualifies us to become a servant of Krishna. Just like before you serve the king, first of all you practice serving some lesser important person. You don't immediately get to go in and serve the king. You have to you have to begin serving some ordinary people. Alright, so uh, then 38. In the month of Kartik, October, November, one should make arrangements for special services. Uh, 
ตุลาและพฤศจิกเนี่ยเราควรที่จะมีการจัดเตรียมการรับใช้เป็นพิเศษ So the month of Kartik, that's called, sometimes we call it uh, the Dham, month of Damodar. When the Lord performed his pastime of Lord Damodar, when he broke the pots for churning the butter into churning the yogurt into butter. ทำหม้อดินเนี่ยแต่ตอนนี้มีการคันหนึ่ง So the month of Kartik is a very auspicious month, and it, it, the Kartik is actually a name of Srimati Radharani. It's a month month which is very dear to Srimati Radharani. The Kartik เนี่ยมีความสำคัญมากเพราะว่าเป็นเดือนพิเศษเป็นชื่อเดือนราราณีแล้วก็เป็นเทพยิ่งของราราณี So we should make arrangements to try to increase our service during that month. Try to do more chanting that month. And sometimes, of course, every day we should sing the d a m a d a r prayer and offer a light to Lord d a m a d a r แล้วก็ทุกวันเนี่ยเราควรที่จะลองเพลงสวดภาวนาอ้อนวอนพระองค์เจ้าดามาราแล้วก็ถวายตะเกียงจากกัน And sometimes devotees also sing they will sing the Gopi Gita during the month of Kartik และสาวก็จะมีการขับร้องเพลง Gopi Gita ในในเดือนนี้ด้วย Somehow we should try to do some more More hearing and chanting during that month. Alright, number thirty-nine. During Janmashtami, the time of Lord Krishna's appearance in this world, one should observe a special. One should observe a special service. บอกว่าในข้อที่สามสิบเก้าบอกว่าช่วงจันมาสตมีช่วงเวลาที่กฤษณาทรงปรากฏในโลกเนี่ยเราควรที่จะปฏิบัติการรับใช้พิเศษ So จันมาสตมี is very auspicious month uh, the, the, the very auspicious day of course the birth of Lord Krishna and at that time we we observe uh, fasting on that day we fast usually until midnight แล้วก็วันนั้นเนี่ยส่วนใหญ่ก็จะเป็นวันที่เราเนี่ยจะถือศีลอดกันถึงเที่ยงคืนเลย So we try to do a nice make a nice program and invite people to come to the temple that day พยายามทำโปรแกรมที่ดีแล้วก็เชิญชวนผู้คนเนี่ยขึ้นมาร่วมกับเราในวันนั้น It's good to try to do more service. We try to chant more on Janmashtami. We we uh, usually offer arti at midnight on Janmashtami. ในวันจันมาสตมีเนี่ยเราจะถวายอาร์ตีเนี่ยในช่วงตอนกลางคืน And we should, of course, try to decorate the deities very gorgeously that day. เราก็จะตกแต่งพระปฏิมาเนี่ยเป็นพิเศษในวันนั้น And we try to also uh, have a big Make a nice festival, you know. Get many people to come to the temple, and a lot of kirtan, and, and also give classes about Krishna. We want to. Uh, it's a good day to attract more people to the temple because it's a holy day. It's Janmashtami. 
มันก็มันจะเป็นวันเพราะมันเป็นเหมือนวันที่เป็นเทศกาลมันเป็นวันเดินมาสตมี When Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, by observing the holy days like h i k a d a s i and Janmashtami, becomes the mother of devotion for those who take shelter of. In other words, we can make a lot of advancement on Janmashtami. เลยในกำลองหนึ่งก็คือเราสามารถพัฒนาตนเองได้อย่างมากถ้าเราถือศีลนอตวันในกระดาษ We like to do. We we like to do more service, more spiritual activities that day. เราจะทำในส่วนที่เป็นกิจกรรมทิพย์เพิ่มขึ้นในวันนั้น All right. Then text num number forty. One should do whatever is done with great care and devotion for the deity. แล้วก็สี่สิบจะบอกว่าเราควรทำทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างตามประเพณีและการอุทิศตนเสสละแด่พระปฏิมา So serving the deity, the deity is of course Lord Krishna directly. And we have to serve the Lord Krishna with great care and devotion. การรับใช้เนี่ยพระปฏิมาเป็นการรับใช้กิชนาด้วยการที่เราให้ความสนใจและการอุทิศตนเสียสละ We should know the deity is not a statue. เราจะต้องเข้าใจก่อนว่าพระปฏิมาเนี่ยไม่ใช่แค่รูปปั้น So we have to serve the deity very carefully. เราต้องรับใช้พระปฏิมาเนี่ยอย่างระมัดระวัง And two items are very important. One is cleanliness, and the other is punctuality. สองคุณสมบัติที่สำคัญก็คือการตรงต่อเวลาแล้วก็ความสะอาด So punctuality means we have a regular program for the deity. We try to keep that program on a daily basis. ก็คือมีโปรแกรมที่เป็นประจำสม่ำเสมอเนี่ยที่เรามีต่อพระปฏิมาแล้วก็ทำสิ่งนั้นอยู่ตลอด o k s o m e days it may be it won't be possible some days it'll be difficult there'll be some things go wrong you have emergencies different things you have to do but as much as possible you try to be regular ก็อาจจะบางวันเราทำไม่ได้ดังนั้นก็ก็อาจจะมีบ้างในบางวันแต่ว่าส่วนใหญ่แล้วเนี่ยเราก็ควรที่จะทำแบบถือในที่เราแบบจะทำได้เป็นประจำ And cleanliness means when we're serving the deity, we should serve the deity. We should be we should bathe first, and we shouldn't be sweaty. We should bathe and put on clean cloth. แล้วตอนรับใช้เนี่ยก็คือความสะอาดก็คือเราควรอาบน้ำแล้วก็สวมใส่เสื้อผ้าที่สะอาด And should put nice t e l i k on the body also before you go in to serve the deity. แล้วก็ควรที่จะทาตีละก่อนที่เราจะไปรับใช้พระปฏิมา And then, you know, of course, women they shouldn't serve the deity. They shouldn't try to serve the deity when they're in their monthly cycle when they're menstruating. They should. They should. Just take rest at that time. แล้วก็ถ้าเป็นประจำเดือนเนี่ยก็ไม่ควรที่จะเข้าการรับทำการรับใช้พระปฏิมาแต่ควรที่จะพักผ่อนในเวลานั้น They're not supposed to cook at that time. แล้วก็ไม่ควรที่จะทำอาหารด้วยในเวลานั้น So you have you have a husband, you have children, so you should let the, get your husband or your children to cook. เรามีสามีมีสามีมีใครก็ให้ให้คนอื่นทำไปเราไม่ต้องทำ Of course that's if you're cooking for the deity โดยเฉพาะเวลาเราทำให้กับพระปฏิมา So we should be careful try to be very clean and pure when you serve the deity แต่เราต้องมีความระมัดระวังและพยายามทำให้บริทำรักษาความสะอาดแล้วก็รักษาความบริสุทธิ์ Alright, next one, number forty-one. 
one should relish the pleasure of Bhagavatam reading among devotees and not among outsiders. Alright, so hearing the message of Srimad Bhagavatam, the Srimad Bhagavatam is the ripened fruit of the Vedas and it's meant to be heard by people who are not envious. So here Rupa Goswami is saying Srimad Bhagavatam is meant best best is to read it with the devotees to discuss it in the association of devotees. Now Prabhupada would give classes every day on Srimad Bhagavatam every morning and there would be many outsiders would also come to hear Prabhupada lecture. But Srila Prabhupada would arrange his lectures in such a way that his classes were suitable for outsiders. He would not talk on confidential things. So Prabhupada was very careful about how he would uh, lecture, what he would talk about to the audience. Generally, he would speak on the basic philosophy. He would not speak about very elevated and confidential topics. Prabhupada wanted people, first of all, to understand who they are, to understand that they're not the body. If they cannot understand that they're not the body, then they will never understand Lord Krishna. So Prabhupada would lecture on the basic teachings to get people to understand, first of all, we're not the body and we're not the master of the material world, but we're servants, tiny servants. So it's nice to let to read Srimad Bhagavatam, but it's more, much more satisfying to read the Bhagavatam and discuss Bhagavatam with the devotees. Because when we discuss topics of Lord Krishna, as described in Srimad Bhagavatam, it will be very pleasing to our ear and to our heart. But for those who are not devotees, for those who are outsiders, it will be very difficult for them to understand. They will be wondering, oh, why they're doing this, why they're reading that, why they're writing this. They will not understand. So the Srimad Bhagavatam, especially later cantos, are meant for devotees. 
maybe the first canto, second canto, that's more basic knowledge that can be for ordinary people. Mm. People should begin studying Srimad Bhagavatam from the beginning. The first two cantos are the pad, pa, Pada Padma, the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. So the people have to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam from the beginning. And this Prabhupada even says that until we're free of sex desire, we shouldn't go beyond the first two cantos. So Srimad Bhagavatam is powerful, powerful, it, it, it's not different from the Lord, it's the incarnation of the Lord. Just like people who are not devotees, if they see that Krishna, they won't understand that Krishna is the Supreme Lord. They don't know. When Krishna was on the planet 5,000 years ago, many people saw him, but only a few knew he was actually the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It was only Lord Chaitanya who really popular, who really introduced people to the position of Lord Krishna. He really explained to everyone that Krishna is the original Supreme Personality of Godhead. But before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, people didn't know. Everybody was just simply worshipping Vishnu. There were some people worshipping Krishna, but not much. All right, number 42. One should associate with devotees who are considered more advanced. So, Certainly, it's a great advantage if we can associate with advanced devotees. By association with advanced devotees, then we will learn more about Lord Krishna. And in the association of advanced devotees, in the association of advanced devotees, we'll be more careful how we act. We'll try to be a better devotee, we'll try to chant nicely. And in the association of advanced devotees, we can ask questions, we can get a lot of better, good understanding about Krishna consciousness. Alright, and then 43, 
one should chant the holy name of the Lord. So chanting the holy name of the Lord is encouraged in every age, not only in the Kali Yuga. But in Kali Yuga, there's no other way but chanting the holy name. In, in other ages, there was, there was other processes like meditation, and temple worship and performing sacrifices. But there was also chanting of the holy name. Just like Ajamil chanted the holy name. And Dhruva Maharaj chanted the holy name. And Draupadi chanted the holy name. But in the Kali Yuga, there's no other way but chanting the holy name. In, in other ages, people, they thought chanting the holy name is too easy. They thought they like to do something more, more spiritual, more, they, that looks more impressive. So, uh, they would often minimize the importance of chanting the holy name. But in the Kali Yuga, because people are so fallen and have such poor qualities, there's no other way but the chanting of the holy name. People are lazy and people are misguided and unlucky and, and never never have peace of mind. So because of the effect of Kali Yuga, they have to have a process which is very quick and very powerful. We all, because in Kali Yuga we just have a short life, we don't live very long, so we need to have a very quick process. So that process is the chanting of the holy name. And the Lord is so kind that He's given us many different names to chant. Mm, but still we're very unfortunate that we have no attraction for the chanting. Alright, so number 44, one should live in the jurisdiction of Mathura. So in other words, one should live in a holy place like Mathura, which is the birthplace of Lord Krishna. 
หรือในคำองหนึ่งก็กล่าวได้ว่าควรที่จะพักอาศัยอยู่ในสถานที่ศักดิ์สิทธิ์อย่างมาทุราหรือสถานที่ศักดิ์สิทธิ์ There are many holy places we know like uh, there's Vrindavan which is near to Mathura and then there's also Mayapur which is the birthplace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ก็มีบรรดาบันที่อยู่ที่มัทุราแล้วก็มายาภูเป็นที่สถานที่เกิดของพระองค์เจ้าใจตันน์ and then there's places like Dwarka and there's Jagannath Puri and then มี Dwarka มี Jagannath Puri and then we have in the, in the south of India we have Rameshwaram and we have uh, Kanyakumari. There are m a n r a m e s h a r a m Kanyakumari in the s o n t h of a i So living in a holy place helps us a lot to become Krishna conscious. การอาศัยอยู่ในสถานที่ศักดิ์สิทธิ์เนี่ยช่วยให้เราเป็นคริสเตียนได้มาก In the holy place, people wake up earlier in the morning and. They're more spiritual. They're always doing religious activities. การอาศัยอยู่ที่สนามิสักสิทธิ์ก็คือจะมีผู้คนปฏิบัติชีวิตทิพกันเยอะจะตื่นนอนตอนเช้าจะแบบทำชีวิตทิพกันเยอะ There's always some festival going on. จะมีเทศกาลที่มีอยู่ Just like here in Mayapur. Just last night, I went to the Jagannath Mandir, and they were having a big festival. There was a boat festival, and they brought the deities out of the temple and brought them on the boat, and they rode the boat around the yard, around the the, the lake, and everyone came and made offerings to the deities. <laughs> ทุกคนก็พาพระวัติมาออกมาแล้วก็ขึ้นเรือแล้วก็ล่องไปก็พาพระวัติมาออกมาทางด้านนอกก็เป็นเทศกาล And the whole community of people all came there to honor the deities and to take part in the festival แล้วทุกคนเนี่ยก็มามีส่วนร่วมกับการงานแห่พระวัติมานี้ทุกคนก็มาแสดงความเคารพ And they prepared prasadam, distributed prasadam to like four or five thousand people. And they had me can I say prasadam? I got see, pan ha pan kon. And the day before that, we celebrated the Vyasa Puja of one devotee, a disciple of Shri Prabhupada named Bhakti Raghava Swami. And they had me can say I'm sure I'll die when. So like this, almost every day there's some program going on, some festival, some seminar, some conference. There's so many activities in the holy place. And uh, there's. Uh, You're always being requested to come, come and attend, come to this program. We're going to do this festival. We're going to have this program. You have to come. All, all the time we get invitations to go here and there. That song got the day. Rap ga chun chun hai. Pai thi no, pai thi na. Kue jam mi thai saka ni ni yu tala. So this, this, this isn't the holy place. The holy places are like that. อันนี้คือสถานที่ศักดิ์สิทธิ์สถานที่ศักดิ์สิทธิ์เนี่ยจะเป็นจะเป็นในลักษณะนี้ So it's good to live in a holy place. จึงเป็นการดีที่ได้อาศัยอยู่ในสถานที่ศักดิ์สิทธิ์ And we can we may not be able to live in a holy place ourselves, but we can make a holy place. Make a place holy by remembering Krishna and by chanting the holy name. 
by having pictures of the holy places, and by having deities. So we want to try to recreate the holy places wherever we're living. We may be living in in Thailand or in China, but we want to make these places holy places, and you can do it just by chanting the holy name and putting nice pictures of Krishna everywhere, and 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 playing spiritual sounds of the holy name, the chanting of the holy name, and offering food to Krishna. Yeah, the holy place, our heart is a holy place because Krishna is in our heart. So we want to make our heart a very nice, pure, holy place. We have to clean the heart nicely to make a nice place for Lord Krishna to sit. So Prabhupada explains that we've we've now we've seen a total of sixty-four different items about how to practice devotional service. So the first ten were the primary items, the things which we have to do. That was things like accepting a spiritual master and taking instruction from him and taking initiation from him. And then there were ten principles, the things we shouldn't do. Right. We shouldn't, what shouldn't we do? We, we shouldn't wear our shoes in the temple. We shouldn't speak any lies in front of the deities. Alright, and then we had 44 other items, all the things we're supposed to do. So total means there are 64 different ways for this, for serving, for doing devotional service. So out of these 64 items, five items are very important. And these five items, it's that even a little attraction for these five items, any one of these five, then it can give us perfection. So five items are, first of all, worshipping the deity. And then hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, associating with the devotees, doing Sankirtan, living in Mathura. Right, so five items are mentioned. In the, in the Rupa Goswami's writing, he puts them in a different order. He said, first of all, he says, first of all, he said, Sadhu Sangha, association with the devotees. 
เราจะเจตนาสมแนะนําไว้ว่าอีไว้ว่าอันดับแรกเนี่ยให้มีซาดุสังฆาคือการพบหาสมาคมกับสาวก And then the next one after sadhu sangha, then um, sadhu sangha nama kirtan, the chanting of the holy name. And then the third thing is Bhagavata Shravan, hearing the Srimad Bhagavata. And then the, the fourth item was. Uh, Mathura Vasi. Ah, what is it? It is Mathura Vas. It is an asite at the Sarandin Sakti. Living in the holy place, right? So those are the five. And now, on the fifth one is, uh, oh no, that what? Mathura, worshiping the deity. That's the last one. So these five items are very, very. Prabhupada has all these five items in our morning program. So if people are fortunate, they'll go to the temple or they'll live in the temple ashram, and then they wake up early in the morning and they can go to the whole morning program. Of course, not everybody can live in the temple. And Prabhupada said also, he said, I never lived in the temple. He said, I was a householder. ตัวท่านเองเนี่ยก็ไม่ได้อยู่ที่วัดเลยท่านก็เป็นคารหะเหมือนกัน Prabhupada did not was not much attracted to living in the temple he thought he thought it would be difficult for him to live like that แต่เสวันก็บอกท่านไม่ได้อยู่วัดเลยเพราะว่าอาจจะเป็นการยากที่จะต้องอาศัยที่วัดอะไร But eventually he did eventually in his Old, older age, but later in life he left the home and he went to live in the ashram. Okay, so the, the Prabhupada writes the, the 64 items of devotional service should include all of our activities of body, mind, and speech. Hmm. Right. We use our body to do certain activities, and we have to use our mind also. We have to think of Krishna. And we have to speak about Krishna or chant his name. So it's stated in the beginning, in the beginning of the, the book, the regulative principles of devotional service. Require that all of our senses must be used in the service of Krishna. So we have to use our tongue in the service of Krishna by chanting the name and tasting prasada. And we use our ears to hear about Lord Krishna. And we use our nose to smell the flowers offered to Krishna. And we use our eyes to see the beauty of Krishna's form. 
แล้วก็สายตาของเรามองรูปหลักของคริสต์นะ And we use our legs for walking to the temple, dancing in the kirtan. So all of our different senses should be used for the service of Krishna. Prabhupada said exactly how they can be thus used in the service of Krishna is shown in these six sixty-four items. Oh, we can use the senses of Krishna to serve Krishna. We can see in the sixty-four items that we have mentioned. So now, in the next chapter, chapter seven, Rupa Goswami is going to give evidence from different scriptures. To support these different activities. And I would hit that net, but Sir Rupa goes on in the high Jabok Jabok and get the gun hit a song, sir, who could see it like any other of the summer time. All right, so we're going to go on chapter seven evidence regarding devotional principles. What he said, Kahu Lakhan Kyoka. So first of all, accepting the shelter of a bona fide spiritual master. In the eleventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, third chapter, verse twenty-one, Prabuddha tells Maharaj Nimi. My dear King, please know for certain that in the material world there is no happiness. ในตรงนี้เนี่ยได้บอกไว้ในสมาบกตมภาคที่สามบทที่สรุปที่ยี่สิบเอ็ดเนี่ยท่านบอกกับมหาราชนิมิว่ากษัตริย์ที่รักโปรดทราบอย่างชัดเจนว่าในโลกวัตถุนี้เนี่ยมันไม่มีความสุขมันเป็นเพียงความ This is sometimes difficult for us to accept. We're all thinking, "I want to be happy. I want. I'm going to be happy in this world." I'll find the perfect friend, the perfect person to love and be happy with. We'll find the perfect friend, the perfect person to love and be happy with. We'll find the perfect friend, the perfect person to love and be happy with. We'll find the perfect friend, the perfect person to love and be happy with. We'll find the perfect friend, the perfect person to love and be happy with. We'll find the perfect friend, the perfect person to love and be happy with. He said, "It's just a mistake to think there's any happiness there." This place is full of nothing but miserable conditions. So, anybody who is really serious about desiring to. Get real happiness. If you really want real happiness, then you have to find out a bona fide spiritual master and take shelter of him. And we should take shelter of him. That means we should take initiation from him. And the qualification of the spiritual master is that he must have understood the conclusion of the scriptures. และคุณสมบัติของพระอาจารย์ดีก็คือควรที่จะเป็นบุคคลที่มีความเข้าใจเกี่ยวกับบทสรุปของคัมภีร์พระเวท He's understood the scriptures by proper study and by deliberation and argument, and he's able to convince others about the conclusions of scriptures. 
นะการก็คือจากการนิทานศึกษานำมาอ่านแล้วก็นำมาปฏิบัติจริงแล้วก็สามารถสอนบทสรุปของสิ่งนี้นะให้กับผู้อื่นได้ด้วย So such a great personality, he he must have taken shelter of the supreme personality of Godhead. พระอาจารย์บุคเลกภาพทุ่งแย่เช่นนี้เนี่ยก็ควรที่จะรับเอาบุคเลกภาพตรงสุดแห่งพระเจ้าเนี่ยเป็นที่พึง So he's given up everything material, and he is understood to be a bona fide spiritual teacher. ท่านควรที่จะสละสิ่งนี้เป็นวัตถุทั้งหมดอันนี้คือเป็นคุณสมบัติที่หมายความว่าท่านมีมีคุณสมบัติความการเป็นพระจันทิพย์ So everybody should try to find a bona fide teacher to take shelter of ทุกคนก็ควรที่จะพยายามหาพระอาจารย์ที่มีคุณสมบัติและที่เขาจะเป็นที่พึ่งได้ We want we need to take shelter of a bona fide teacher in order to be successful in the mission of life เราเนี่ยควรจะหาพระอาจารย์เป็นเทพศาสตร์พอเพื่อที่จะให้เราเนี่ยประสบความสําเร็จกับจุดมุ่งหมายในชีวิตที่ของเรา The goal of life is to get out of this material world and to go to the spiritual world to enjoy spiritual bliss จุดมุ่งหมายที่แท้จริงของชีวิตก็คือการให้เราจะออกไปจากโลกวัตถุนี้แล้วก็ไปที่โลกทิพย์เพื่อที่จะได้รับความสุขทิพย์ So Sri Lanka Prabhupada adds some Uh, important notes here at the end of this section, and he says that the meaning of this point is that we should not accept a spiritual teacher who is a fool. ตรงนี้สวรรค์สมมติให้คำอธิบายที่มีความสำคัญบอกว่าเราไม่ควรยอมรับพระอาจารย์ที่ที่งู We should not accept a spiritual master who does not act according to the scriptures. เราไม่ควรจะเลือกพระอาจารย์ที่ผู้ที่ไม่ได้ปฏิบัติตามหลักธรรมของคำของคำสอนของพระอาจารย์ด้วย And we should not accept a spiritual master whose character may be doubtful. และเราก็ไม่ควรที่จะเอเอรับมาพระอาจารย์ที่ผู้ที่ยังมีความแบบว่าสงสัยหรือมีมุคลิกที่น่าสงสัย If he does not follow the principles of devotional service, then it's no good. If he does not follow the principles of devotional service, then it's no good. If he does not follow the principles of devotional service, then it's no good. If he does not follow the principles of devotional service, then it's no good. If he does not follow the principles of devotional service, then it's no good. If he does not follow the principles of devotional service, then it's no good. If he does not follow the principles of devotional service, then it's no good. If he does not follow the principles of devotional service, then it's no good. If he does not follow the principles of สิ่งที่ท่านควรทำก็คือควรที่จะต้องเป็นบุคคลที่สามารถควบคุมแรงกระตุ้นของลิ้นอวัยวะสืบพันธุ์ท้องความโกรธจิตใจและคำพู Anybody who has practiced controlling these six things, then he's allowed to make disciples all over the world. ผู้ใดที่ฝึกปฏิบัติการควบคุมหกอย่างนี้เนี่ยก็แปลว่าท่านเนี่ยมีคุณสมบัติที่จะสามารถมีลูกศิษย์ในทั่วโลก And it's very important to accept a spiritual master who who can control the senses. It will help us to advance in spiritual life. อันนี้เนี่ยจึงมีความสำคัญมากที่เราจะต้องรับเอาพระอาจารย์ทิพย์เนี่ยที่มีความก้าวหน้าในชีวิตทิพย์เนี่ยที่สามารถควบคุมประสาทสัมผัสได้เช่นนี้เนี่ยที่จะช่วยเราให้เราก้าวหน้าในชีวิตที่ And if someone's fortunate to get the shelter of a bona fide teacher, then he's sure to cross the path of the material world without any doubt. ถ้าเกิดว่าใครเอ่อถ้าเกิดว่าใครสามารถได้รับพระอาจารย์แบบนี้ได้อยู่ภายใต้คําแนะนําของพระอาจารย์เช่นนี้แล้วเนี่ยแน่นอนว่าเขาเนี่ยจะสามารถข้ามพ้นมาสมุทรแห่งความรู้ทางวัตถุแน่ได้แน่โดยไม่ต้องสงสัย Alright so we're going to stop there tonight วันนี้เราจะจบกันเพียงแค่นี้ Are there any questions today? ใครมีคำถามอะไรไหมคะ Yes ก็ชาย่ามาดูที่ Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj ตระหนักนำ Please accept my humble obeisances all glory 
คือศิลปะปุปปอนเอออาจารย์นับไปให้พี่นะนะคะเอออาจารย์นับพี่มีความสงสัยว่าผู้หญิงที่เออเหมือนต้องรับใช้ปรับปฏิมาแล้วก็อย่างของพี่อย่างเงี้ยค่ะคือพี่อยู่กับแม่แค่สองคนอะไรอย่างเงี้ยแล้วตอนที่พี่แบบเหมือนมีประจําเดือนอ่ะพี่จะหยุดรับใช้ปรับปฏิมาไปเลยอะไรอย่างเงี้ยเออมันควรคือแบบมันไม่มีใครทําแทนเพราะว่าแม่พี่ไม่รู้เรื่องอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะก็เลยอยากจะขอคําปรึกษากรุมหาราชว่าในกรณีที่ถ้าไม่มีใครทําแทนเนี้ยเราควรต้องทํำยังไงดีอะไรเงี้ยเพราะว่าเราก็ทํากับเข้าแต่ไม่สามารถที่จะออเฟอร์ได้อะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะอืมอืมโอเคกรุมหาราช her question is regarding the uh, worshiping the deities She said her situation right now is she is with her mother, and uh, her mother cannot do anything much. So she is the one to do the worship and cook and offer the food. When she have a period, then she cannot uh, offer the food, and there is no one to serve the deities. So in this case, what she should do? Well. Uh, yeah, in that situation, she has to do it herself. Yeah, even though she's not pure. ถ้าในสถานการณ์เช่นนี้นะคะพี่อาจจะต้องจะต้องทำเพราะว่าถึงแม้พี่ไม่บริสุทธิ์นะแต่มันไม่มีใครทำอะไรเงี้ยพี่อาจจะต้องเป็นคนทำ The only other thing you could do is to prepare food before. So that you have enough food already prepared before your period begins. ก็อาจจะมีการแบบว่าเตรียมอาหารเนี่ยก่อนสมมติว่าก่อนที่เราจะเป็นเมนก็คือเตรียมอาหารให้พอในการที่จะแบบถวายอะไรอ่าฮะบัดอับคุรส์ that's you know that means you have to eat food which was prepared to a few days before. It's not very good. Not very nice. You like to have fresh food. แล้วก็แต่ว่าถ้าต้องเตรียมไว้หลายๆวันก็จะไม่ดีมากเท่าไหร่เพราะว่าเราก็อยากจะกินอาหารสดกันสดส่วนใหญ่ Other thing you could do is put the deities to rest. อีกอย่างหนึ่งที่เราสามารถทำได้ก็คือพาพาพระปฏิมาโน Because you know you're going to start your period, so you put the deity to rest, and then after your period is over, then you start to serve them again. Or else you just beg the deity, please forgive me. I'm not pure. I'm contaminated, but nobody else is here to serve you. So please allow me to serve you. ไม่ไงั้นเราก็ขอพรกับพระปฏิมาบอกว่าข้าพเจ้าขออภัยด้วยข้าพเจ้ายังไม่ได้บริสุทธิ์ในช่วงตอนนี้แต่ว่ามันไม่มีใครที่จะรับใช้ท่านแล้วข้าพเจ้าขออนุญาตรับใช้ท่าน When you get married, then your husband can do the cooking and everything. ถ้าเกิดเราแต่งงานแล้วเนี่ยถ้าเกิดพี่แต่งงานแล้วเนี่ยสามีพี่ก็ช่วยได้ Okay. Okay, Guru Maharaj. Thank you for your advice. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. You, you were the mother. You were the Sachi. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, and dear devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shila Prabhupad. Uh, Guru Maharaj, should we be attracted by private qualities of spiritual master, not only his instructions? Uh, is it right? Uh, is it normal? Uh, what, what quality? What quality? Uh, private, private. Uh, like what? What kind of private quality? What do you mean, private qualities? I don't know. Mm. Mm, for example, a spiritual master has to be an, an example for us in uh, his behavior, or like this. Yes, it's important. Qualities are important. The qualities will reflect the teaching. 
Some people may speak very nicely, but they may not act properly. That's not good. Rupa, uh, Lord Chaitanya praised Sanatana Goswami. He said, some people preach, but they don't act nicely. And some people act nicely, but they don't preach. But he praised Sanatana Goswami. He said, you, are you not only act nicely, but you also preach. So you are the best. อ่าพอท่านการอ่ามาดีก็ถามว่าการที่เราเนี่ยจะอ่าชอบพระอาจารย์เป็นอาจารย์ที่สอนด้วยแล้วก็ปฏิบัติตนด้วยอ่าฮะเนี่ย so yes we it, it's good if uh, devotees they should not only hear the preaching of the spiritual teachers but they should also see the behavior personal dealings แต่ไม่ใช่แค่แบบเห็นพระอาจารย์ที่เพียงเดียวแต่ว่าคิดถึงการที่แบบว่าเอ่อควรที่จะมีการแบบว่าเอ่อคุยกันเป็นการส่วนตัวด้วยแบบรับคําสั่งเหมือนกันส่ว
and they'll fast, they'll break their fast after Mongol Arti, they'll give them some prasadam to break their fast. So, yeah, people do these things, you know, it's an austerity, but it's for Krishna, it's purifying. Yes, Guru Maharaj, yeah. So, and, uh, yeah. We're fasting the whole day on Janmashtami, and then the next day, of course, at midnight, we take some prasadam, we take some, you know, not, not it shouldn't be too, too much prasadam, but take a little prasadam, break your fast, and, you know, take some liquid, take some of the, maybe the charanamrita from the bathing of the deities, and, and then take some fruits or some something light, you don't want to eat too, nothing too heavy. It should be a courtesy prasadam. And then, okay. and then the next day, it's Prabhupada's appearance day. So we fast, there's no breakfast. We're not going to have any breakfast. We're going to fast until midday because there's a feast at midday. Okay, Guru Maharaj. But that, that should be a big feast. That's, uh, that is feast for Prabhupada's Vyasa Puja, and it's also the feast for, if we say it's a Nanda Mahotsava. Nanda Maharaj is very happy because his wife has delivered a son. And both Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda, they were a little old and the elderly, and they thought, oh, people were thinking, oh, they cannot have a child, they're too old now. But somehow they were blessed with a son, and that son was so special that he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So many great demigods, they all came there to give presents and so on to, to uh, Nanda Maharaj, Mother, Mother Yashoda, or to Vasudev and Devaki. Oh, not Vasudev and Devaki, but Nanda and Yashoda and Mother Sachi. After she gave birth also, many people came, brought offerings. So the next day is the feast because the wife has given birth. So the next day we have the big feast, Nanda Mahotsav. Nanda Maharaj gives a big feast. He wants to give charity to all the Brahmanas and all the people, all the people of Vrindavan. They're all so happy. Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda have been blessed with a son. So Nanda Maharaj is giving a lot of charity and he's having a big feast and everyone's invited to come and take nice prasadam and to see the beautiful baby, <laughs> right? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Uh, here we celebrate the Krishna Janmashtami on a different day. That, that, is that okay, Guru Maharaj? Sometimes we make a festival on a Sunday after two weeks of Krishna Janmashtami. Sometimes we do it, uh, this time we are planning to do it on Radha Ashtami, September 4th. But actual Krishna Janmashtami, I think, is falling on uh, August uh, 19th or 20th, something like that. Uh huh. Yes. Well, then it's, it's all right, uh, just the festival, but on the actual day of Krishna Janmashtami, you should observe the fasting. Fasting, yeah, and okay. Yeah, and we can. When you have the festival that day, you don't need to fast. Fast, okay. But when you actually, on the actual day of Janmashtami, that day you should fast. Even though you're not having a big program, but still you should fast. Fast. Okay, till midnight, right? And then, yeah. Well, so yeah, you can go online. You can go online and watch the programs in the different big temples. You know, you, you can be watching the Abhishek. Uh -huh. different, Everything. Yeah, and you can see them do the RT at midnight and like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Mm. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. How was the program with the Maharaj there? Oh, it, Maharaj is coming this week, Guru Maharaj. I'm oh, sorry, this, I told you this Friday. Oh, this, this Friday. Friday coming. Oh. Yeah. I misunderstood something with the Zurich people. I thought it's already, and then I called them and they told he's just arriving now and he will come to Geneva next week. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> Okay, Sri Devi Gorangi has a question. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. 
Guru Maharaj, yeah. how how do we uh, how do we uh, talk to our fellow devotees, maybe our peers devotees, about the importance of like fasting till midnight for Janmashtami and and the serving only uh, Egadasi Prasad or emphasizing more about the Egadasi Prasad because some of them say that you know they want to start serving. Uh, uh, the prashadam at 8.30 p.m. and then they want to go back. They don't want to stay till 12 midnight, whereas I'm interested to be in the temple till 12. Um, not all are enthusiastic because they don't really listen to these kind of classes. So, they're practicing bhakti, but, uh, but not constantly listening to be reinforced these things. Well, yeah, you have to be tolerant a bit, you know, people, some people, this is common around the world. There are many people, like, it's not always convenient for people to stay till after midnight in the temple. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand many people will just come and they have a darshan and they go. And so we have prasadam ready to give them. You have to give everybody who comes to the temple, they have to get prasadam. And yeah, they're not fasting, you know, they're not fasting. So, okay, let them have grains, you know, they can take grains if they want. They don't need to take a karasi prasana. But initiated devotees, it's different. Mm -hmm. People who have been initiated and who are practicing seriously, mm -hmm. then they should follow. They should fast. And they should not take grains. Mm -hmm. They should take the karasi prasana. Okay at midnight mm. yeah that's the standard for the devotee when Prabhupada was here and Prabhupada would be at the temple and the devotees would all be Prabhupada would have all the devotees fast and they would all be up and Prabhupada would be up until midnight and do the arti at midnight actually Prabhupada would have the devotees read the Krishna book and he would read it, he would go on reading like one th in the night, one thirty at night, <laughs> still reading Krishna book, you know. Uh, okay. All right. Devotees would be falling asleep and they wanted to don't break the fast and take prasadam. And Prabhupada would be hearing Krishna book, he'd say, keep reading, keep reading. Oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we normally we normally we, we we go on till midnight, and then uh, maybe put aside some prashadam for those who are going to break their fast at midnight, and others can have the prashadam earlier. Even the devotees who cannot fast till midnight, they want to break at at eight thirty. Say egadasi prashadam. It's all right, isn't it? According to their capacity. Yeah. Some people, you know, they have gastric problem or something, you know. They cannot fast. Not everybody is able to fast, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And I, I was in Russia for Janmashtami and I thought in Russia also, you know, we had a program and we finished everything by nine o'clock. Everybody took prasad of nine o'clock, went home. I was surprised. <laughs> but they said, no, they said, this is how we do it here. They said, we cannot stay till midnight. Okay. Mm -hmm. So different parts of the world, different places, you know, culture. You have to consider. So maybe I can go home and, and observe till twelve midnight. You know, follow the temple program. Temple program till what time they are having the program, uh -huh. and I can just continue on because I I I can have I can prepare the egadasi prasad at home because I have my own deities. Surely I have given my deities the um, boga offering. Yes. So I can go back and then off, uh, wait till midnight and do the midnight aradi, then I can break my fast at home then. Oh yes, yes, no yeah. problem. Yeah, you can do that. Yes, Guru good. Maharaj. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Okay, thank you. How is everybody? How is your family, Sri Devi? Everybody fine? Uh, Everyone is okay, Guru Maharaj. We are in we are in some kind of a transition now, transition to go to a, to another house. Actually, <laughs> it's a bit uh, it's a bit complex the whole matter. 
So, waiting for some uh, some clearance. I know at this at, at this age it shouldn't be happening, but it, it but it it has to because of some circumstances that we are in. Otherwise, we are okay. My son has recovered from the mental block he had. He couldn't eat for five months uh, for, for last year and until this year. So, uh, by the mercy of the Supreme Lord and Guru Maharaj, he, he's okay now. Uh, otherwise, everything is fine. My daughter seems like she wants to settle down in the United States. No. So I, I, I can't do much to change her mind about that. I know Guru Maharaj, when we first told you that, you know, she's going to go to the United States to study and then Guru Maharaj was not too happy about that. So, um, I mean, I understood at that time. Uh, well, she uh, it's so hard for her, she said, because she has to put on an American accent when speaking to them. And then she was surprised. She said, don't you have to put on a British accent to speak to Guru Maharaj? I said, no. <laughs> I speak English the normal way. You know, yeah. we have our own accent. I don't have to become somebody else. Mm -hmm. and she said, don't, 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 don't you have to? No, I said, no, I just speak the normal way. Guru Maharaj can understand me very well. Guru yeah. Maharaj himself, uh, what, what he calls, he caters to our accent and he, he comes down to our level and he speaks to us English that way. You know, maybe he's speaking to a, form of, to a fellow Britisher, then maybe he will speak differently. I don't know. But to us, he's speaking very normally like that. So, so much of adaptation like that, you know, when she bathes uh, two, three times a day, they, they sometimes they don't like, you know, the housemates. So otherwise, she's doing well. Uh, Study-wise, she's good. Everything is good. Just that I'm worried how she's going to be there alone in one big country like that, you know, stay there and make a life there. But she's interested to become an actress. So that's the reason why I don't like that profession at all. But um, she's quite keen on it and quite uh, quite serious about it because she did two majors. Uh, so one psychology, the other one is theater and art. She was in a Greek drama recently where she had to take part. And in her minors, education, so she has got this going. December, she will finish her studies and graduate in May next year, like that. Okay. Yeah. Because she's not, uh, I mean, she likes to become a devotee, but she said when she goes to a bigger city, because in her, in the place where she is now, it's, it's a Midwestern place, predominantly white population, very hard to get uh, proper materials to make vegetarian food like that. So she said that uh, she will become a full vegetarian uh, when she has uh, more opportunity. Mm. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Guru Maharaj, for inquiring. Thank you so much for your care and concern. Okay, my best wishes to everyone there. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Take care. Hare Krishna. All right, so Archana, I think no more questions. Yes, Guru Maharaj. So we'll finish here. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much for translation. Thank all the devotees. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Yeah. Go back to Vrinda ki. Yeah. Guru Maharaj ki jai.